All right, guys, what is going on? Today's just gonna be a super raw talk. I'm kind of just chilling, and uh, I'm just I'm gonna let you guys know that just how I've been feeling recently, just about a lot of different things. So first and foremost, you know, this video is probably titled. I'm probably thinking about titling it like um, "I Feel Stuck as a Video Editor," something like that, guys. But I just want to relate to all of you guys, all of you video editors out there, in, in the first place. But you know, I could talk to numerous you know, other people, but really I want to relate to you guys, my audience, and all the video editors out there, you know. I know the struggle. We all know the struggle. We all know it's hard, whatever. But really, I'm just here to get on here to say that everything is going to be okay. You know, whoever you are out there, I don't know who you are, everything is going to be okay, right? And, and I'm really on this journey to to become financially free, and it's been a wild journey, just just even though I'm just 19, you know? And sometimes I have to like remind myself like, yo, I'm only 19. You know what I mean? Like I literally just turned 19 like in July. So sometimes I gotta remind myself that, you know? But sometimes it's also hard to keep up with all the trends and all this stuff, right? And for me, you know, I'm trying to build a, a private community for all of these like-minded editors that's more paid for more of the advanced editors and also beginner editors. But I'm trying to build this paid community, but at the same time, I literally had someone message me on Discord, a fat paragraph, about how my videos aren't the same anymore, and that crushes me. And I'm sorry to anyone out there who watches my videos and, and stopped watching them because I don't give any more value out. But the, the truth is, is a lot happened in my life over the last three three months, I'd say. And, uh, you know, I had to move. A lot of things happened. You could probably tell by my videos, I'm just bouncing around from place to place. You could tell in my video environment that I'm just always in a different environment, right? You could tell by my videos place I'm not in Florida anymore. Like, but at the same time, you know, we have to keep it pushing and I have to make something for myself. You know, at first I wanted to make YouTube to help people and I didn't want to. I, that was my whole goal was literally to, because I've been editing for like three, four years of my life since I was 16. I got good at the new software of DaVinci Resolve. You know, it's not very popular and I've literally created my channel in hopes to help people. And I have done that. I have successfully helped over 7,000 people. And it's a and it's a blessing. Actually, more than 7,000 people. I've, I've helped over 300,000 people. And that's a blessing, really. You know, thank God for that. I'm very, I'm also on a, uh, a journey to become closer to God. Um, if you guys don't know, that's also something I'm, I'm growing closer towards. Dang. <laughs> that's also something I'm growing to closer towards as well, like for my personal self. Um, just personal stuff, you know, uh, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, um, growing closer to him each and every single day, just trying to better my life, you know, cut off all the bad habits that I, I was doing, you know, uh, all the sins and stuff like that, you know, and uh, hopefully one day I can get on here and spread the word. Um, I want to be a lot more educated first, but yeah, that's, that's what I hope to do one of these days. But I remember back then I made like a video and it was like titled where I plan on taking this YouTube channel. And I said I was done filming videos for a while right you know I said I would eventually come back to the channel which I did but at the time I was working on something else and ever since you know the move happened a lot of different things happened right so now this is kind of forcing me not forcing me but this is now what I'm pursuing is going full-time onto this you know and it's kind of crazy to think like a youtuber like I only have 8,000 subscribers you know um, just trying to keep up to date with all the trends as well as being a businessman. That's the biggest thing that I didn't realize as a video editor, you know. You could be a great video editor, but if you're not a good businessman, then you're not gonna make money. So for a while, I was getting some video editing clients, making money that way, and then I was trying to optimize my audience, which basically, what I'm basically trying to say is I'm trying to make money off my audience, and, and I am, and it's going great. But the problem with that is I tailored so more focused towards making money rather than giving value. And I feel like if I give value, then that then the more money will come, right? Also, this is kind of me telling you guys that, you know, I'm gonna start pivoting into more valuable informational YouTube videos, maybe more of these. Um, I would love to sit here and do more like talks like this. I think it would be super great for me and just to get off my mind and also just to to tell you guys, you know, how I'm doing in real life. You know, not everything is all rainbows, sunshine, you know, whatever. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, you have to just think about where you're going to be in life and put your full full faith and trust into God and you're good. 
you know? So I have downs in my life, but if and when I put my faith in God, I start to feel a lot better, you know? Because God, God is forever. Like everything on this earth right now is just temporary. We don't leave with anything that we have on this earth. You don't leave with your laptop. You don't leave with your camera. You don't leave with your hard drive. You don't leave with your car. You don't leave, leave with your, your house. You leave with nothing. You literally leave with nothing. So that's why it's so important to focus on God and just trust the process. And that's the biggest piece of advice I've learned is just literally trusting and putting my whole faith in God and just believing that he has a plan for me, right? Like whatever I have is already out there. I just have to go get it. It's as simple as that. And everything, everything is already decided. Whether you become a professional video editor, whether you become a millionaire, is already pre-decided by God. It's already decided. So there's nothing to stress or worry about. I know in times where you're sitting there and you're you're sitting there worried about, you know, finding editing client videos, finding client videos, finding clients in general, trying to make money, trying to get rich, right? But at the same time, like everything happens for a reason and and there is a plan for you a dedicated plan for you and me and anyone watching this video. So there's nothing to stress about. If you guys are relating with me with this video, then this message is for you. And honestly, it's okay to feel stuck as a video editor. It's okay. You don't have to, you, like the thing about social media is it deceives you. It, it makes you believe that, you know, video editors are so rich and blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. You know, all these millionaires posting their Lambos, their dream cars, but you know what they don't post? The times where they were failing. The times where their relationships were arguing, you know, even with relationships. The times where them and their girlfriend were about to break up, you know? You know, the same with marriage, bro. Like, you know, all the marriage couples, all the married couples, they post their wedding photos, they post good moments, good this, good that. They don't post their arguments, you know? And that's why social media can be so addicting and, and be so bad for you guys. And like me and myself, I'm trying to get off social media too. But social media is my job, so it's kind of hard to do that. If you're going to sit here and watch married couples, you know, this, that, and have a false reality of reality, then you're going to go in the real world and you're not going to know like, oh, snap, a relationship, you actually argue? What? I didn't see this on TikTok. You know, like I didn't see the, the when you become a businessman and you fail a gajillion different times. I didn't see this on TikTok. Bro, exactly. Because social media, <laughs> social media is literally meant to just show you guys the ups. Now there are some people who show you the downs, you know, but most people are only showing you the ups and those are the most things that, those are the majority of the things that people actually end up posting in the first place. But anyways, guys, I've gotten off so off topic, but honestly, I'm just gonna call this a car talk, genuinely. Um, I think that I provide so much value into you guys as video editors and I feel like I deserve to give back to you guys more. Now, obviously, I know I started a pro paid community. I have digital products to speed up your workflow, whatever. But like at the end of the day, the value isn't there anymore. And I feel like the value needs to be there. So I'm trying to set the bar high for the beginning of 2025. And, and guys, listen, that doesn't mean I'm just going to start making banger videos in 2025. No, I'm going to start now. I'm going to start now. I'm not going to start in 2025. That's why I don't like New Year's resolutions. So if you're making a New Year's resolution, I would scrap it, honestly. Look, these lights just went out. But regardless, a takeaway of this video is, you know, don't be afraid to lose everything. Don't be afraid in general. Don't be afraid to fail as a video editor. Don't be afraid to fail the business. Everything, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you have to make money, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, right? And I've always thought about it like this from a business perspective standpoint. If my business genuinely is not going to work out, I can always go back to a normal life. So what am I losing? You literally have nothing to lose. Even if the if you guys are out there and you're working a job, you have nothing to lose. Yes, if you have a high paying job right now, you're going to have that high paying job to lose. But if you can get there once, you can do it again. You can get that high paying job again if your business fails, right? But you don't want to go into this business thinking it's going to fail, obviously. That's not what I'm saying, guys. I'm just saying that if 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 my business decides to not work out in my favor and, and it doesn't get me the, the rich man I want to be, right? And, like, I'm not getting rich to get rich. I'm getting rich to have a dream life and, and build my dream life. I don't care about money. I care about the way I want to live, you know? Beautiful house with my wife and kids, grow a family and not have to worry about money. Right? Simple as that. Simple as that. Travel the world. You know? But if you lose everything, you lose your business, you lose your job, 
you can always go back and build your way up. So don't be afraid to like start that business. You know what I mean? I hate to be that guy, but don't be afraid to start that business, genuinely. You will regret not starting that business, and I mean that. I don't know how long this has been, but guys, thank you for watching this video. Just don't be afraid. Step out of your comfort zone. It is okay if you are lost. Sometimes I'm lost too. I'm lost right now a little bit too in my own world, you know? But at the same time, have your trust in God. And if you haven't found him yet, then pray and look into it. Look into it. What is it gonna hurt, you know? He's eternal. When when we all die, we go, we go there. And, and when judgment day comes, he's gonna decide if you make it to heaven or not. So do your research on that. Um, and, I, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna quit yapping here, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.